Butter, V100.7. I do Afternoon Drive. I'm also the uh, Assistant Program Director, so I'm here at the V. Been here since November, been back here since November 2nd, 1998. How many years ago was that? That's 20 years. <coughs> Man, that's a long time. That's right. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still here, having fun, playing all the the, the love, the hip hop and R and B on the record. Mm -hmm. So let them know, like, at what point was it that you decided to brand yourself? Um, man, in high school, back in the day, mm -hmm. um, I went to Riverside. That was my home school, but Marshall was my secondary school. Because back in the day when I went to school, every school had a specialty. Mm -hmm. So Riverside was my home school. If you had a B average. You can go to another school for a specialty school. Mm. So Marshall had broadcasting as their specialty. Mm. So I went to Marshall in the morning in my junior senior year uh, to do broadcasting, radio and television. And Riverside was my home school in the afternoon. That's what's that. So um, while I was in high school, I used to do parties and everything, uh, noon hour dances for other schools and everything. So. Um, um, I just took it from there. I really wanted to be a film major, so really? I went to school. But radio kept calling, and mm -hmm. here I am. So you knew, you kind of knew off, you kind of knew off top. Like, I mean, yeah, you had the skill, or you wanted to get into filming, but you knew off top that uh, this was what you oh, was yeah. just meant to do. Oh yeah, when I when I came back to Milwaukee from school, I was working for a film production company, and a guy in Chicago. Uh, well, uh, he, before he was Chicago, he heard me in a club back here, asked your parents mm -hmm. about Sonny's on Broadway, <laughs> but uh, way back in the day. But he heard me in the club, and he got me to work at the radio station part-time. And uh, I thought I was going to go strictly film, but he left here, went to Chicago, came through the city, heard me on the radio again, and said, you want to come to Chicago? And I said no at first. Mm -hmm. And um, the rest is history. rest is history. Here I am, right here in the mill. Doing radio, radio. I make a lot of money. Um, I mean, it's good, and it's something I like doing. I like, I love right. music. Right. Yeah. That's love awesome. Music. So, oh, what's your overall mission? Uh, my overall mission. I'll tell you this now. My overall mission is to do something special for this city, Milwaukee, the city of Milwaukee. So I'm working on that right now. Um, that's the reason why I signed another contract. Um, this is my. Uh, well, I ain't going to say it's my last contract, but mm -hmm. I did sign another contract to be with here. And the company, iHeartMedia, said they'll help me out with this big project. So so get ready, mm. kids, adults, get ready. I'm going to do something that Milwaukee hasn't had since the 80s. Mm. And it's going to be big. Oh, you it's ain't gonna, dropping no hints, it's huh? It's going to be real big. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you got to keep ready. us informed. Oh, let I me will. Know, you you know. definitely know. Trust me. Please let me know. Um. So since you've been along your journey, since... You know, you, you've had your ups, your downs, moving around and whatnot. What would you say has been the best part for you? The best part for me? Uh, well, just meeting the people, the celebrities. I want you to know all these celebrities that you hear on the radio, that you see me in pictures with, they're regular person. Right. Regular people, just like me and you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but um, um, just meeting people, talking to them, getting to know them. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, have you ever met A. Murphy? And I was like, yeah, when I was in Chicago, um, Eddie was in the building. There was a building called the, uh, a, 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 a spot called the T Phoenix Talent Agency in our building. Mm -hmm. Spike Lee, Eddie Murphy, Robert Townsend, they all would get talent from there. Mm. So Eddie was in the building. So my, um, my boss, well, one of my, my boss's assistant mm -hmm. asked if Eddie would come on the show with me. He said, no, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Mm. And then um, she said, please, her name is Dee Hanley. What up, D. Hanley? But she said, uh, please, can you just come sit with him for a minute? And uh, he came in. He said, all right, man, you got five minutes. He ended up standing an hour and a half. Aww. He was ribbing on people that were calling <laughs> in to the station. And he was like, that's fun. He laughed for me a couple of times. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that was one of the highlights. If it's know. somebody out there right now and they're hesitant, hesitant mm -hmm. to follow in their dreams, hesitant to step into their purpose, what type of advice would you give them? Um, follow your dreams. Always shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll be amongst the stars. Real talk. Yes. There's a lot of people. The reason why I'm still here is because there's no one to take my place. And mm. I'm not saying that right. on a conceited right. level, level or anything, but there's no one interested in this job. They're interested in the shine of it, uh -huh. you know, but 
they don't know the basics. Right. How to do commercials, how to produce commercials, you know, how to run the board or anything. That's the basics right there. Right. So it's hard to find people. Um, my, my GM was telling me this um, last year. She said, it's hard. We go to Marquette and everything. Mm -hmm. But these digital babies, they just want to be on. I want to be on the radio. I just right. want to be on live. Right. Yeah, put me right. on, you know. Right. It's not about that. Right. It's not even about that. No, this is the easiest part of my job. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm also the music director, you know. Uh, I mean, the music director and the APD. So mm -hmm. um, this is the easiest part of my job, being in the studio, playing the songs, answering the phones, giving away tickets, mm -hmm. watching TV. Mm -hmm. I'm about to take a nap mm -hmm. in a minute. No, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> but people just don't, you know, uh, you got to follow your dreams and stick to it no matter what it is. If there's something you want to do, Learn the basics on it. If you want to be a, um, a people, I, I, I use this analogy all the time. Um, people say, man, I want to be on the radio. Well, you got to know your background, all right? Mm -hmm. I, I like playing basketball. You think they're just going to put me right on the bucks? Right. No, you got to right. train, you got to learn, you got to do all this. So um, that's what you got to do. Just follow your dreams. Yes. Be somebody. Yes. For real. Love it. So Love the it. last question I have for you is, is, you know, what do you want people to remember you as? Smooth as butter. What's going all on? Day. That's, that's butter. All day. That's all day. Smooth as butter. <laughs> um, just someone they could have looked up to. They could look up to. They could look up to. Um, you know, I'm always open if you need advice or anything. Uh, if you ever need advice, you are the future. You're going to take care of me when I get older. Right. So I don't mind sharing whatever I have with you to help you do better because you're looking out for me later on. Yeah.